If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name. If you love me, let me hear you, babe. Cause I wonder if you feel the same, same. Or just tell me if you feel the same. Hello, hello, how is everyone doing today? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. We are gonna be doing some serious cleaning today and getting this messy house all cleaned up for an extreme clean with me, and I hope you guys are ready for motivation. We are gonna have some serious cleaning motivation in this video, it's jam-packed with all the things. We are gonna tidy up, we are gonna clean up, and the first place we are gonna start is the kitchen. I actually got my cleaning started in the morning. My son is back in school part of the day in person, so I'm able to tackle a lot more of my chores in the morning. So we are gonna do some morning cleaning, some afternoon cleaning, and getting everything taken care of today. We're gonna start in the kitchen. We are gonna clean the stovetop. We are gonna clean everything in the kitchen pretty much. And I am going to put the racks from the stovetop in the dishwasher as well as the knobs and all the other stuff. I just make sure any little holes or any areas that need to be drained are sitting properly in the dishwasher to do so so that they don't get all rusted. Now that we've gotten the dishes in the dishwasher, we are gonna run it with Cascade Complete and run it on a sanitizing cycle, get everything all nice and cleaned up. Putting the grates in the dishwasher is a great way to get all the baked on grease or sticky stuff off from your stove top on those grates. It works so well, just make sure that they are draining properly and that they dry off properly. I do not do this all of the time. I do it maybe once or every other week or once a week but it works super great so that you're not scrubbing them. I recently just cleaned the oven, but I forgot to clean the grates on the stove when I did so, so we got those taken care of today. I'm gonna clean the sink now, and I'm going to scrub all the food bits out of it before I really deep clean it. It's been a hot minute. I did a serious deep cleaning video in my last video, and I was so burnt out on cleaning that everything just kind of fell to the wayside and need some serious love. So we are gonna do that today and get this house back in order. I'm going to remove the little rubber seal, I guess, from the drain and the garbage disposal area. And I'm gonna take some Clorox cleaner plus bleach spray and spray that whole garbage disposal drain area as well as a little rubber seal and get that all cleaned up. It gets super gunked up and it is so disgusting. So I'd like to take it out and get that all clean. As you can see, there's gonna be some stuff coming off of it that does not need to be sitting in the sink. So we're gonna take care of that and then we will get to cleaning the sink after I rinse down all the bleach, I am gonna use Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. This works great for stainless steel sinks. You can use it on a bunch of other stuff as well, but it is so good for the stainless steel sink. It gets it nice and shiny, and we have hard water here in Las Vegas, and it gets rid of all of that so that the sink looks brand new.
Another thing that I have to do quite often since we live in Vegas and we do not have a water softener is remove the calcium hard water deposit buildup from all of our faucets, our shower heads, all of that stuff. And I just used white distilled vinegar to do so. I put it in a Ziploc bag and get a rubber band and wrap it around and just soak it in there. It gets rid of that stuff really, really well. It breaks up the buildup. And I do it often enough that I don't have to really scrub it when I do it, but it does work when it is really calcified on there because our shower heads were horrible when we first moved into our house and it worked wonders. If you haven't tried it and you have the same white crusty stuff on your faucets or your shower heads, try it. It works amazing. I'll be using the Wyman stainless steel cleaner to clean up all of my stainless steel appliances here in the kitchen and get those all nice and shiny as well. While I am getting this refrigerator all nice and polished up, I wanted to take a minute and introduce myself. For those of you might, who might be here for the first time, my name is Bronte. I am a stay-at-home mom of two. I have two little ones who are two and five, and I have a little fur baby. We actually might be adopting another fur baby, so I am super excited about that, and I will share more details in the next video once we get closer to having that possibly be finalized. But I wanted to take a minute and introduce myself, let you guys know a little bit more about me, and I would love to get to know a little bit more about you, so come say hi in the comments let me know where you are watching from and introduce yourself. I got this really cute cutting board from our realtor recently. We've been in our house for over a year, but my mom actually just recently bought a house from her and she gifted us this and I wanted to share it. It is the cutest thing ever and I am obsessed with it and I cannot wait to use it. But for now, we are going to clean the Keurig. It has caked on coffee grounds in it. It is absolutely disgusting and we are going to get that all cleaned up today. We're going to use some vinegar and a bottle brush and get in there and get to scrubbing. This is a great way to remove all the buildup and the grime in there and it's also a great way to descale your Keurig and I will show you just how to do that in a minute. So we're going to scrub this guy a little bit and then we are also going to scrub out that little black thing that I just showed you that comes out of the Keurig and get that all cleaned up as well. And then we are also going to scrub the sink faucet get all the calcified stuff off of there and I'm going to show you just how easily it comes off once you do the vinegar. It barely took any elbow grease. It didn't have to work super hard. It came right off and got all the orange yucky calcified stuff off of the faucet. Now we are going to clean the inside of the machine, the parts that the water runs through to make the coffee or your tea, and I'm going to do a mixture of 50-50 water to white distilled vinegar, and then I just run this through the Keurig until the water runs clear, and then I will run as much water as left in the tank in the reservoir through there if there is any left. And once all of the water and vinegar mixture is run out, I will run a full tank of water through there as well because all this brown gunky water stuff is going into your coffee if you're not cleaning your Keurig often. So I highly recommend trying it. Try it out and then come back in the comments and let me know how it works out for you guys. I feel it growing stronger. We 
are gonna show the plant baby some love today too and I'm gonna take the plants down from on top of my refrigerator and give those guys some water and give them a little bit of love. They get stuck up on the top of the refrigerator and sometimes I do forget about them. So we're gonna water them today and make sure that they're taken care of as well. And I also wanted to address a question that I get a lot of the time. We epoxied our countertops about nine months ago and I get asked how they're holding up all of the time, especially in the epoxy countertop video. So if you've seen that video and you still are wondering how they're doing, they're doing great. I do have one little minor chip, but that's because I dropped something from super high and it chipped the corner of the countertop. And then there is only some very, very, very slight yellowing on the countertops. So if you guys are interested in an actual detailed video about the counters, let me know in the comments down below and I can do that for you as kind of like a bonus video, but they have held up really well. They are not peeling. They have only chipped in that one little spot where it was my fault because I dropped something from super high up but they are doing great and they're super easy to clean. You just wanna avoid using bleach on them because that can actually stain them. But other than that, you can use pretty much any cleaner. I used Windex on them today. You can use Thieves on it. You can use something natural. You can use something a little more harsh. Whatever your heart desires, they are pretty durable and I am still so pleased with how they've turned out. We put everything back in its place. We got the kitchen straightened up and now we are going to move on to tidying up the living room, mopping, vacuuming, and getting all of that done as well because it desperately needs it. There have been crumbs all over the floor and if you guys have been around for a while then you know that that is my biggest pet peeve. So recently my mom actually bought me some house slippers to wear in the house so that I don't have to vacuum all of the time. I mean, I probably should vacuum all of the time, but at least I don't have to vacuum multiple times a day because I can just do it once and then be done with it. The crumbs on my feet drive me nuts and I'm so excited about these little house slippers that I got. I'll show you guys them as I'm cleaning and I'll have them linked down below in the description box. They were from Amazon. They were under $20 and I just think that they're adorable. But we are gonna straighten up this living room. We are gonna get everything back in order hold up any of the leftover laundry from when I was doing laundry earlier in the day and just get the couch all straightened up, clean up all of the toys, wipe stuff down, and then we are gonna move on to vacuuming and mopping as well. And I'm gonna share my favorite way to mop up the floors, disinfect them, and get them all nice and clean, so stick around for that. My shark rocket vacuum is still going strong. It's almost two years. It'll be two years next month that we've had this vacuum and I still love it so much. It works really well, but I actually had somebody talking about their shark up light vacuum and it sounded really, really nice. And I might just have to get myself one. So if you guys have one and you love it, let me know in the comments down below shark uplight vacuum should i upgrade is it worth it or should i just stick with the current vacuum that i have right now Leave it 
let's get this potty closet all cleaned up, this little washroom. We are going to take care of this. This is something that needs to be done quite often because I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old who both use the potty. So cleaning up the toilet, cleaning up around the toilet is something that needs to be done probably daily. I do not get it done daily, but it definitely needs to be done all the time. So I'm just going to spray everything down and I'm using a fantastic disinfectant and degreaser spray as well as Clorox cleaning bleach toilet bowl gel, which is the best toilet bowl cleaner ever. And then I'm also going to clean up the floors and the step stool with that same fantastic spray. And then we will clean up the sink and clean up the mirror area as well. And then we are going to move on to mopping. The way I do without anyone but you If I were to lose you now I don't know what I might do So to mop my floors lately I have been using a mixture of powdered Tide laundry, you want to use about a teaspoon in super, super hot water in your O Cedar Easy Ring Mop or any sort of mop bucket. But this works really great at removing the buildup on the floors. And if you want to disinfect your floors, you can actually add a splash of bleach to it. It might leave some streaks behind if you do add bleach to it or if you add too much Tide laundry or too much bleach to the mixture but usually it works really, really well. I know when I've added too much Tide laundry because I do get some streaks, but you just go over it with some super hot water and voila, you have some super nice clean floors. The Tide actually will break up any buildup on your floor or break up any dirt. So it is a super great concoction to use if you have people in and out of your house a lot. I'm gonna vacuum the stairs and then we are gonna move on to cleaning up and straightening up upstairs. We are not gonna be doing any super crazy cleaning upstairs we will save that for the next video because i just kind of ran out of time we have had a lot going on over here like i said we might be adopting another dog so we've just we've been busy people over here but we're going to straighten up the loft because it definitely needs it so we're going to pick all of the toys up get them a little bit more organized put them back in the rooms that they belong in and just get this all straightened up before moving on to cleaning up my bedroom Let's get this bed made. Even though it was in the afternoon by the time I was wrapping up my cleaning, I'm still gonna make the bed because it just makes me feel so much better when my bed does get made during the day. I don't care what time it is, it just feels so good to get it done, whether it's in the morning, first thing in the morning when we wake up, or if it's in the afternoon. Because sometimes, you know what, you got stuff to do and you don't always get to it first thing in the morning. So we got the bed made, we are gonna vacuum up this room. I'm actually in the market for new bedding that is more neutral. So if you have some great suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I have been eyeballing the Casa Luna collection at Target lately. I just feel like it's a really pretty neutral bedding that can go with pretty much anything. I always change up my taste and what I like, so I figured neutral is probably the way to go, especially since I wanna redo our bedroom and keep it more like neutral or modern boho so let me know if you have any good bedding recommendations down below i 
hope that you have enjoyed this clean with me and gotten some motivation from it. Thank you all for being here and watching this video. It means so much to me to have you all here. I hope that you have enjoyed enough to stick around and subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. And do not forget to come say hi in the comments, whether it's to introduce yourself or just stop by and say hi. I love chatting with you guys, so be sure to do so. Thank you so, so much. And I will catch you all in the next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Up on my